In this video, we're going to look at how to solve three different examples of simultaneous equations using the elimination method. The main idea behind the elimination method is that we want to add or subtract equations in order to eliminate one of the variables. What we look for is a common term between the two equations so that when we add or subtract them, that term gets eliminated. So for this example, we have 2x plus y is equal to 8 and 4x minus y is equal to 22. We see that equation 1 has got a plus y term and equation 2 has got a minus y term. So these terms are the same except the sign. And when the signs are different, what we do is we add the two equations. For example, if I add equation 1 and equation 2, on the left hand side, I'm going to get 2x plus y plus 4x minus y is equal to 8 plus 22. When we simplify this, we're going to get 2x plus y plus 4x minus y on the left and on the right is equal to 30. We see that the plus y and the minus y term having different signs will cancel out. So the left hand side reduces to 6x is equal to 30. We then divide both sides by 6 and we're going to get the solution for x is equal to 5. After we get x is equal to 5, we need to find y and we simply sub x into any of the equations. And I'm going to sub back into equation 1 to solve for y. So here we're going to replace x with 5. So we get 2 times 5 plus y is equal to 8. So we get y is equal to 8 minus 10, which is equal to minus 2. So therefore the solution is x is equal to 5 and y is equal to negative 2. Our next example, we have 5x plus 2y is equal to 4 and 3x minus 4y is equal to 18. In its present form, we don't have a common x term or a common y term. But what we can do is we can multiply the first equation, both the left and the right hand side by 2, so that this becomes 10x plus 4y is equal to 8 and I'm going to call this equation 1 dash. Equation 2 remains the same as 3x minus 4y is equal to 18. And what we now have is we have a common term the plus 4y and the minus 4y. Because the signs are different, one is plus one is minus, we're going to add equation 1 dash and equation 2. So the left hand side we have 10x plus 4y plus 3x minus 4y and the right hand side is 8 plus 18. Simplifying this, 10x plus 4y plus 3x minus 4y is equal to 26. We see that the plus 4y and the minus 4y term cancels out. So we have 13x is equal to 26. Dividing both sides by 13, we now have got x is equal to 2. And we can sub x is equal to 2 back into any equation to solve for y. So I'm going to sub back into equation 2. So we have 3 times 2 minus 4y is equal to 18. Negative 4y is equal to 18 minus 6, which is equal to 12. And when we divide both sides by negative 4, we're going to get y is equal to minus 3. So therefore, x is equal to 2 and y is equal to minus 3. Our last example, we have 3x minus 2y is equal to 14 and 4x minus 5y is equal to 28. In these two equations, we don't have a common x term nor a common y term. But what we can do is we can multiply the first equation, the left and the right hand side by 5, and the second equation, the left and the right hand side by 2. And this will give us 15x minus 10y is equal to 70. The second equation becomes 8x minus 10y is equal to 56. And I'm going to call this equation 1 dash and 2 dash. What we now have is a common minus 10y term. And what we do is because both have got the same sign negative, instead of adding them, this time we're going to subtract them. So we're going to say 1 dash minus 2 dash. So we're going to get 15x minus 10y minus 
8x minus 10y is equal to 70 minus 56. And don't forget, we need to make sure to expand the bracket so that we have 15x minus 10y minus 8x plus 10y is equal to 14. So we have the negative 10y and the plus 10y term will cancel out. 15x minus 8x will give us 7x is equal to 14. Then dividing both sides by 7, we're going to get x is equal to 2. Again, we can sub x back into any of the equations. So I'm going to sub back into the first equation. We're going to have 3 times 2 minus 2y is equal to 14. 6 minus 2y is equal to 14. Negative 2y is equal to 8. And when divide both sides by negative 2, our answer is y is equal to negative 4. So we have x is equal to 2 and y is equal to negative 4 as our solution to this simultaneous equation. Thank you everyone for watching the video. If you are looking for more videos on this topic or other topics, please have a look at our channel. We're aiming to create more content across various maths topics, so please support us by subscribing and we hope to see you all soon. Bye for now.